in the 2021 NFL draft, out of the, all the quarterbacks that were taken that year, Fields still has a chance to come out as being the best quarterback of, taken in that first round that year, or just in general out of that whole draft. Um, the only one he's competing against, like he has throughout his entire um, high school career, college career, is Trevor Lawrence. Obviously, Zach Wilson's no good. Mac Jones, no good. I think the Trey Lance thing doesn't get talked about enough because that is probably the worst draft mistake I've seen a team make to trade that much draft capital to move up and take that guy. And what's interesting to me is we sat here going, man, they could have just stayed put and drafted fields. They could have even traded back and drafted fields. Looking at it now, though, it's interesting because they're succeeding with Brock Purdy, who's Mr. Irrelevant. I used to say, just put Fields on the 49ers, see what happens. No, if you put Fields on the 49ers, he cannot complete short throws. He cannot complete these little dump-offs that the 49ers rely on so much. I actually don't think he would work well in that system. You asked me a question the other day. Well, what is the perfect system for Justin Fields? And I kind of I was like, whoa, I, I don't really know. I gave you two guesses. I don't even remember what they are right now. I've always talked Lamar down. I've never liked Lamar. I've never liked the style. You said, oh, he's an MVP. I was like, yeah, well, what, what is that? It's just an MVP. Like, until you get a ring, it's nothing. Man, he might get that ring this year. Like, they are that good. And it's because he is that good. It's because he's developed into such a concrete passer, as well as utilizing his running ability in the right times. And it's just so smooth. It looks so planned. It looks so executed. Man, it's Lamar. It's Lamar running the show. It's an offense built and catered towards him. And it, that offense credit their coaching staff. They got to be the best coaching staff in the league. That offense is evolving as he evolves. It is not what it was when he started. Yeah, they took him as a raw talent and and had him do the things he was good at. And as he got better at the things that he wasn't good at, they incorporated more and more of that. And now he's the guy that we all wish Justin Fields could be. However, Justin Fields is light years away from it. And if you toss him in the Ravens system right now, in the system they're running today, I don't think he succeeds. If the floor is 170 yards passing and we don't get those 80-yard passing games anymore, that's fine if he can still put the team on his back during clutch moments. But here's the thing. Now you're relying on his clutchness, which, you know, that's a, one of those statistics that doesn't have a number on it, right? Like, you're relying on him to be at his best at the end of the games when we've seen the opposite. And, man, I truly think the only way to sit there and unlock that moving forward is, is definitely a new coaching staff. I couldn't agree with you more. And I think there's never a game where I feel that Lamar is suffering due to coaching. So that's a credit to the coaching staff. But any game that the Ravens are losing or, or down in, in my head or in the back of anybody's head, I think you're watching and you're going, they still got Lamar and there's still 18 minutes left in this game. And I was saying that about the 49ers. I was like, man, they're down 18 or they're down 21 or whatever. But I was like, but it's still the 49ers. They could still do it. See, but the difference here, and that's, and this is where you can make the argument one way or the other is, but they had Brock Purdy. I I look through the the lines and I just say, which quarterback do I trust more? Or is there any obvious quarterback uh, disparity here? This quarterback is clearly better than this one. I'm going to take that team, even if it's the worst team. And a few weeks in a row, it worked. You know, I won some money doing that just because it is such a heavy quarterback driven league. And at the end of the day, like you look at Lamar and you go, you know what? He has that lightning in a bottle aspect still. Have you ever felt that way about Justin Fields where they're down 15 points, 20 points, 13, whatever. And you go, well, you know what? It's, it's Justin Fields and they might make a play. And that could be both ways. You could see this both ways because you feel that way about Patrick Mahomes. But this season is proving to you without talent around a guy, you can't expect that from any quarterback, even Patrick Mahomes. But at the same time, you do see teams like, you know, Lamar, ja- the Baltimore Ravens and Lamar Jackson. You see teams like, oh, man, there's so few of them nowadays in the NFL. But I've never had that sense in my mind where Justin Fields is going to save the day and win this game. If anything, it's the opposite. The Bears have a three-point deficit. 
They're driving with two minutes left, and I go, here comes a fumble or a pick. Dude, we've been kind of we haven't been down two touchdowns. We've been up two touchdowns and lost those games. <laughs> and and this is part of easy. it. It's part of it. It's because and go look at the best games Fields has had this year. I would say one of them is because of how good he played that they that they won, and that was really Washington, where he had those three hundred fifty and you know four touchdowns or whatever, and they won. Otherwise, I think it was against Detroit. You lose. Against Denver, you lost, right? Those best games of the season. And otherwise, it's like, unless the team is doing well, Justin Fields is not doing well. And at this point, when you look around the league, there's a lot of guys who can do that job. And this is nothing against Justin Fields. I love Justin Fields. He's one of he's one of my favorite players the Bears have ever had. This is where people don't understand what we're trying to talk about because it's nuance. You can love a guy and not think he's that good and both things can be true. I want nothing but Justin Fields' success. If he goes somewhere else, I'm going to be a fan of Justin Fields moving forward while also being a fan of the quarterback of the Bears. 